Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This time we will going to learn about complexometric titrations. So complexometry is a general type of volumetric analysis where students need to perform a titration. So sometimes external may ask questions from the titration setup that is like they may ask you what is burette. So burette is this glass tube in which we used to fill titrant with the help of a funnel. What is titrant? It is the solution whose concentration is known to us. In conical flask we fill analyte solution. So this is our conical flask and in this we fill analyte. Analyte is what? It is the solution whose concentration need to be checked out. Indicator is used to see the end point of the titration. So indicator usually indicate the completion of the reaction between the analyte and the titrant with the help of the color change. So we usually observe a change in color during the end point of the reaction. Usually use glasswares are conical flask, beaker, measuring cylinder, round bottom flask, etc. So the important question which may be asked are what is hardness? In complexometry method we determine the total hardness of water sample. So this is a very common question which may be asked that what is hardness? So hardness is basically the soap consuming capacity of the water. It is the characteristic property of water by virtue of which water consume lot of soap. And it is due to the presence of dissolved salts of calcium and magnesium. So if salts are present in the water the water may be hot. How do you differentiate hard and soft water? It is very easy to differentiate between the both. We need to um, use soap for differentiating hard water and the soft water because we know that soft water produces leather easily with the soap whereas hard water will going to produce the white scum. This is because the salts which are present in the hard water will going to convert the soluble link of the soap into the insoluble precipitate. How many types of hardnesses are there? So we have two types of hardness, number one temporary hardness, number two permanent. As the name suggests, temporary hardness is temporary, it can be removed through boiling. Can you give one example of each temporary and permanent hard salt? So temporary salts are basically the carbonates and bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium. Whereas permanent hardness is due to chloride, fluoride, sulfates etc. That is the ions other than carbonate and bicarbonate if they are present with calcium and magnesium they causes permanent hardness. How do we express hardness? Hardness is usually expressed in terms of CaCO3 equivalent form. So why we express hardness in terms of CaCO3? This is because to make the calculation easy as molecular weight of CaCO3 is 100. Moreover, calcium carbonate forms a very stable precipitate at room temperature. So what is EDTA? This is the common question asked during the complexometry. EDTA is a ligand and it is used as an intermediate solution during the calculation of total hardness. So its full form is ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid and its structure is this. It is hexadented ligand. It means that it has six active sites. As you can see two lone pairs on nitrogen and four negatively charged hydrogen sorry four negatively charged oxygen. So total there are six sites through which the cations can be grabbed. So EDTA forms a very stable complex. But during the titration, instead of pure EDTA, we use disodium salt of EDTA. Why? This is because EDTA is sparingly soluble in water. So it has a limited solubility. So by using disodium salt, the solubility of EDTA is increased. Since disodium salt of EDTA is readily soluble in water. So external may ask you about the structure of the disodium salt. So this is the structure. You have to replace two of its proton with the sodium cation and you will get the disodium salt of EDTA. Next question is what are complexometric titrations? So these are the titrations which are sometimes called as chelatometric titration because here the ligand is used and 
uh, it is a form of volumetric analysis in which the formation of colored complex is used to indicate the end point of the titration. Complexometric titrations are particularly useful for the determination of a mixture of different metal ions in the solution. Which indicator is used in determination of the total hardness in water? Commonly we use EBT. Its full form is Eriochrome Black T. So can you name any other metal ion indicator? So in absence of EBT, we can also use Eriochrome Blue Black R. Its pH range is 8 to 12 and Muric side, its pH range is 6 to 13. And the pH range of EBT is 8 to 10. So we need to maintain the pH of, uh, pH of uh, 10 during the course of titration. External may ask you about the structure of EBT. So this is the structure of EBT. The important point about it is that EBT has two phenolic hydrogen. This is one and this is two. So these phenolic hydrogen easily release the protons when, when it is mixed with the water and form complex with the cation. The complex formed by EBT is unstable and it is wine red in color. So how many complexes are formed? So in this titration, we get two types of complexes. Unstable complex between indicator and metal ion. Stable complex between EDTA and metal ion. What is the color of stable and unstable complex? So stable complex is colorless whereas unstable complex has wine red color. At the end point which color is observed? At the end point we observe blue color. This is due to the free EBT. As we know that EBT and metal ion complex is unstable. So when EDTA is added to the water, it breaks the unstable complex and forms complexes with all the cations available to it. As a result of which EBT is set free. And when it is set free, the color change is observed from wine red to blue. What are buffers? These solution resist the pH change if small amount of acid or alkali is added to the solution. So acid buffer and basic buffer. We have the examples also. Acetic acid and sodium acetate makes acid buffer. Whereas ammonia and ammonium chloride makes a basic buffer. How temporary and permanent hardness can be removed from water? Temporary hardness as the name suggests, it is temporary and can be removed by boiling. Whereas permanent hardness requires specific treatment methods like lime soda method or ion exchange methods. How pH is maintained during the titration? Yes, this question may be asked that during the complexometric titration where you are calculating total hardness. Here we are using buffer solution to maintain the pH 10. So how this pH is maintained? This pH is maintained by adding ammonia and ammonium chloride. Here I am showing you the structure of complexes as well. So the first structure is of stable complex. It is colorless and it is formed between EDTA and metal ion. Whereas the second complex is unstable complex. It is wine red in color and it is formed between EBT and metal ion. Here I am sharing you the link of my video. By clicking this link, you can check my video on complexometry. Thank you.